hello everyone welcome back to yet another video by coders daily in this particular video we are going to solve another very very popular question or problem on hackerrank.com which is known as mutations okay so let's just directly jump into the problem statement and see what we can do with that fine again i'll choose my pen from here great fine so what the problem statement says is that we have seen that lists are mutable great mutable means that you can edit or change the values of list right uh, tuples are immutable truly said tuples are immutable also the strings are immutable so in sequential data type inside python only there is one data type called list which is mutable okay so what they are trying to say is let's try to understand with an example you are given an immutable string and you want to make a change to it okay so they what they want basically from us is key if they have given us a string we just take it as an input and if they want to make any change in the into particular value or at a particular point in the string we need to do that right so let's uh come downwards okay they, they have just given us the process how can we do it so they are telling us that you need to first split the string they want us to split the string change the value and again join the string okay so it's kind of a it's kind of a way wherein we can make an immutable string a mutable uh immutable thing right so i'll just come downwards and see what is the task which is given to us read a given string change the character at a given index and print the modify string okay complete the mutable function in the editor below what will be given is will be given a string so let's just say there is a string called mradul okay okay now uh, if you'll see over here there are six characters so the index value of each character would be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this will become our first input which is string the second would input would be the position so let's just say on position number four hana uh, in the position number four I, i want to change the word word d to f okay so the f word would be there in the character variable position would be the number where we want to make a change and s would be our string so over here a b c r a c a d a b r a so on the position five so zero one two three four five okay they want to change the character k okay so the sample output is a b r a c a b r a c and instead of a they are giving us k so i'll just see a b r a c a d a b r a okay so the positions would be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay at the position 5 at the position 5 this would be changed to k okay so that is what is happening over here so it's very simple and straightforward question okay so let's just see how can we solve it now okay again i'll come to the code editor and see so first i need to split the string so i'll just write split str a variable would be equals to uh string dot split okay and then i need to split e split each and every word right there is no space there is no comma which would be used for splitting so that's why i am writing double quotes without any space or gaps right because i want to split each and every a uh, character of that particular string so i'll just print it print it and show you how it will look just a minute so split str right i'll just try to run this code for you once it will not give the final output just we want to check how it is coming okay it's giving an run time error no response on std out okay no problem no problem what we'll do is i'll just return it run code 
okay what it is saying that empty separator great empty separator so there there is not an option of separating it like this okay okay so that is what they were telling us over here only that how would you approach this one solution is to cover convert the string into a list and then change the value another approach is to slice the string and join it back okay so another thing they wanted us to do is to join it and like split it and then then join it right so i was trying to do this part right so i tried to split it but it was not getting splitted because split function does not work with a space right so what i'll do is i'll just convert this particular string into list of string okay now it will just break down into number of variables okay again okay i can't just uh i'm not able to do it over here so i'll just write string okay and after this this is finally working that we are able to split it sometimes it happens that when you try to create a code you just keep on getting stuck and again and again you need to read the problem statement and then solve it right so that is what it was happening right now i just created uh, a split string uh, variable and just put it inside the list which which was very wrong i needed to put string variable inside it right so finally i am able to show you <laughs> that our string is uh, literally a string is literally splitted into strings of a uh, list of strings okay now i need to join it again so to do that particular thing i'll again write string equals to dot join uh, sorry i need to replace it i need to replace it so first of all i'll just replace the word at position whatever position is given equals to character okay and finally what i'll do i'll just join it finally finally i'm going to join it so dot join and inside that what i'll do i'll write split string okay and finally i am just again going to return the string and this is the solution it was very easy i have done it a lot of time but today it was all going again and again reiteration that is how it works if you are becoming a coder or wanted to become a coder you need to debug each and every codes uh, a lot of times right so that is what it was happening today i'll just run the code fast and finish it off so great we are able to run the code i'll just submit it once all the test cases are running and that is it from this video if you liked my video if you have seen my previous video on hacker rank or any other problem solution series or computer programming solution series please do subscribe to my channel and please do follow me on my instagram thank you so much for watching